United Nations report has revealed that the concentrations of greenhouse gases in the Earth's atmosphere has hit a record high this year. Greenhouse gas concentrations, which are already at their highest levels in three million years, have continued to rise. Economic slowdown, business closure and lockdowns during the course of the pandemic had little long-term effect on the concentration levels of greenhouse gases. The head of the World Meteorological Organization has said that the main greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide concentration, have increased in the recent years. Now, this has considerably contributed in the rise in temperature across the globe. The sharp but short drop in emissions earlier this year represented only a small cut in the buildup of carbon dioxide. And the difficulty with carbon dioxide is that its uh, lifetime is, uh, is very long. And, and we have seen a drop in the emissions uh, this year because of the COVID uh, crisis and uh, lockdowns in many, many countries. When, and we expect that this year the emissions will be 4 to 7 percent lower than, than the emissions uh, last year. But this is, uh, this is not going to change the big picture because of the extremely long lifetime of carbon dioxide. and. Uh, we have continued seeing records in atmospheric concentrations of, uh, of carbon. While daily emissions fell in April by 17% compared to last year, the figures are still at par with that of 2006. Now, this shows the volume of increase in emissions over the years. However, as the factories and workplaces started to reopen by early June, emissions started to regain its previous strength. The latest data reveals that atmospheric concentration of carbon dioxide has hit 414.38 parts per million in July, compared with 411.74 parts per million last year. Now, global temperatures have also risen by around 1.1 degrees Celsius. The report has also given a detailed description of how climate change can adversely affect the lives of people. Hundreds of millions of people will be at risk of severe flooding. Access to fresh water is also likely to worsen in the coming years.